Hello everyone, welcome back to the gaming flow and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix. The forest is having crashing issue, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck or loading screen and even many more issues which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this up so let's dive into the work now. The first one is all about when you are having this trouble, what we need to do is we just need to try with a simple restart. For this we just need to go over here in the start icon, click on the power icon over here. Go for a restart, once restart is done, just try launch the game and we have to see whether the issue is solved or not. This might work, this may not work, so this is what you have to do as the first step. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to try with launch the game from the installation folder not from the steam so most of us launch the game from here so that is why we are having the issue so try launching the game from the steam that is what we have to do for this we just need to go over here in the search so not the search we have two methods we have a shortcut from the steam itself when we have to use the file explorer so uh, the shortcut over here in the steam is just go over here right click go to the properties go to the installed file and just click on the browse that will take you to the installation folder if you check over here at the top that is this pc local disk c program file x86 steam steam apps common the forest now from here we just need to try launch the game and this is what you have to do so just try launch the game and once you launch the game here for more most of the cases the issue will be working out because it worked for many issues you can try this out as well and apart from this like I said, we can also navigate to the installation folder. Just go over here in the file explorer, go to this PC, go to local disk C, go to program file x86, keep scrolling down, navigate to Steam, go to Steam apps, go to common. Now from here, we have to navigate to the game, that is the forest. So, uh, okay, where is it? Okay, the forest, open the folder. Now launch the game from here. You can try either any one of the steps. Either you can launch the game from the installation folder using the Steam shortcut or you can navigate using the file explorer. Both the things are fine. Once you launch the game, you have to see whether the issue is solved or not. This is what you have to do as the first one. After trying with this, hence we are in the installation folder. I would like to show you a few more steps that you can try. One among them is we have to run the game as an administrator. So just go over here in the same installation folder. Right click, go to show more options and go to the properties, go to compatibility, click on run this program as an administrator, go for apply and go for ok and try launch the game and we have to see whether the issue is solved or not. Next one, we need to try launch the game in the compatibility mode which did work it for many issues you can try this out. So just go over here right click, go to show more option, properties, compatibility, click on run this program in compatibility mode. So we just need to click on Windows 7, go for apply, go for OK, or we can set this to Windows 8, go for apply and go for OK. Try with this, this will be working because it worked for most of the cases. Once you close this, go back, try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing but, we have to make sure the date, time and region should be correct. For this we just need to go over here in the search, we have to go to settings. Now from here go to time and language, go to date and time. Make sure the time and time zone should be automatically correct. Just go back, go to the language and region. Now from here, you have to make sure that the region is correct. So if you're from United States, select United States. If you're from United Kingdom, select United Kingdom. Do according to your geography. Once afterwards, go back to the Steam, try launch the game and you have to see whether the issue is solved or not. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to launch the game and we have to press Alt and Tab. So just launch the game, press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. This did work it for many users in my past experience. So you can try these steps as well. Next one, we have to delete the saved game file. So just go over here in the file explorer. Now from here, we have to go to this PC, go to the documents. Now go over here and delete the folder. So if you find the folder not here, you can go to the folder My Games and over here you will be able to find the folder when you start playing the game and saving the st steps one by one. You will be getting the folder on the forest and if you find the folder, just delete it. Once afterwards, just close everything, go back and try launch the game. 
next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to allow the game to windows security for this reason we have to go over here in the search we have to go for control panel now go for system and security go for windows defender firewall go for allow an airport feature through windows defender firewall now keep scrolling down and navigate to the game forest so hence it is in uh, alphabet we can search over here the game will be added so just keep scrolling down and navigate to the game so as you can see the forestry is already added make sure both the private and public has to be marked it is already marked and if it is marked you are fine with this or else we have to make few changes so imagine the game is not here and we need to add it by default so just click on the change settings go for allow another app go for browse now go to this pc go to local disk c go to program file x86 go for steam go for steam apps go for common now from here we have to navigate to forest now select this one go for open and we have to add it so i'm getting the error because the game is already added so i have to add it and once you add the game you are fine with it and once afterwards just close everything and we have to go back try launching the game next one is all about we have to unplug all the usb devices so we might be connected with multiple uh, you know joystick controllers might be many things might be connected that is one of the main reason we are having the issue so just remove the unwanted things and once afterwards just launch the game and that will be working fine as well next one is we have to perform a clean boot so just go over here in the search go for system configuration go for services go for disable all hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for okay if they're going to ask you for restart so if they're asking for restart just go for restart uh, the users who are watching this you have to mandatory go for restart but i'm going to go for exit without restart once afterwards try launch the game and that will be working fine next one is all about we have to disable the steam overlay so just go over here in the game right click and go to the properties so if they enable the steam overlay while in game if it is turned on we have to turn this off once after turning this off we have to try launch the game if that is not the case we have to move to the next one giving commands in the launch option one command is dx11 give the command dx11 and try launch the game if dx11 is not working try with the command dx12 and try launch the game so either the dx11 or dx12 will be working fine once afterwards try launch the game and you have to see whether the issue is solved or not next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to close all the overlay application so just go over here in the game right click and we have to go to the task manager now from here as you can see there are a lot of things running in the background and all these are these are one of the reason why we are having the crashing issue so we need to remove the unwanted things from here just remove the unwanted things and once afterwards you remove the unwanted things for example discord riva tuner msi afterburner etc you have to remove all these things and once afterwards just close everything and we have to go back try launch the game next one is all about nothing but we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card so just go over here in the search we have to go for graphics settings now from here you can find there are a lot of things running in the background so we need to add the same just click on the browse navigate to the installation folder this pc go to local disk c program file x86 go for steam apps we have to go to uh, sorry go to steam go to steam apps now we have to go to common now from here we just need to keep scrolling down and navigate to the forest and we have to select this and go for add so right now the game is already added i think so if the game is already added just go to the forest click on the option by default this is let windows decide change this to high performance and go for save once you save this we just need to close this and we have to go back try launching the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to increase the virtual memory so just go over here in the search we have to go to view advanced system setting go to the advanced tab settings once again advanced once again go for change make sure this is blank and select the local disk where the game is installed go for custom size set the value initial size that is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size is 3 times the total ram so just go over here we need a calculator so search for the calculator type your ram that is 32 gb multiply it with 1024 and you have to multiply it with 1.5 that brings you 49152 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it next one what we need to do is we just need to type 32 gb multiply it with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that is 98304 and we have to copy this 
paste it go for ok and set everything ok and once afterwards go back and try launch the game and you have to see whether that is going to work or not next one is all about nothing but we have to update the graphics card manually so i'll be providing a link in the description that will take you to the nvidia so if you're on the nvidia just go over here and select everything like your product type should be selected product series should be selected according to your pc's configuration set everything up you have to set this to windows 11 and go for start search now once you go for start search if the version is 545.84 and the release date is october 17 2023 so just download this install restart is a mandatory and try launch the game if you're on the amd just go over here and select every details over here and go for submit and over here if you're on windows 11 download this one if you're on windows 10 download this one and install restart is a mandatory and try launch the game you can also try installing the microsoft visual c which is a very important one if the system is based on x64 download this one if the system is based on x86 download this one install restart is a mandatory and try launch the game next one is all about we have to update the windows just go over here in the search we have to go to the settings go to the windows update at the bottom just update the windows or check for the updates and if you are getting any update just update it or else if you're on the up to date you are fine with it you can try moving to the next step and also you can try with the next one that is all about we have to uninstall and reinstall the game so just go over here go to the forest go to manage uninstall the game for reinstalling it back what you need to do is after uninstalling you have to go back to the file explorer so if the game is installed uninstalled from c try installing it back on any other drive not on the c that is what you have to do and the last and the least one a very important step you have to try verify integrity of game file so just go over here in the game go to properties go to the installed file and just click on the verify integrity of game file so once you go over here you can see this is going to take a little bit of time so this will cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this once you reach uh, what you need to do is once you reach over here you can set this up and as you can see all the files are successfully validated and once afterwards just close everything and go back and try launch the game and this is what you have to do and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye